What's up y'all and welcome back to another video. In case you missed, there was an official Reddit and Discord post-launch Q&A with Ant Knight, the team behind the development of Sons of the Forest, and they shared with the community some features and some ideas they have for the future of the game. So first and foremost, let's talk about Kelvin. The devs they plan on adding some new features to Kelvin, one of which is to let Kelvin help you build a wall around your base instead of destroying it. Right, Kelvin? And also let him fortify or repair parts of the base. And our beloved Virginia will also be getting some new features. So they want to improve her AI so that once she has weapons equipped, she will feel more brave. Depending on the amount of cannibals and mutants that she kills, she will feel more courage to go after them and protect the base. And if you're not yet satisfied with Sons of the Forest story and lore, don't worry, they will be adding more uh, story and large the story, as well as cutscenes and new areas to the game. And they will use those areas to further develop the story. And as in every game, there are cheaters as well in Sons of the Forest, as well as griefers. And the devs said that they are looking in ways to limit uh, griefing risks and also expand tools for the server holes to take measures if needed. And if you're not a PC gamer and you're wondering if you'll be able to play on PlayStation, Xbox, or Switch, the devs said that they are excited to take Sons of the Forest to consoles. So right now they are focused in making the game as best as possible for PC, at least until launch. And that might take around six to eight months for the game uh, to fully launch. That's what they, they said. So expect to have uh, a console port after that. And at this point, the devs, they have not shared any feature roadmap or new content roadmap, let's say. Uh, however, they said that they go through the requests and the questions and the ideas that the community has, both on their Discord and on Reddit. So keep sending the ideas there because they said they go through them and the ideas that fit the game and they think will be a good addition to the game, they most likely... Uh, we'll tackle them and, and add to the game. And as of right now, the crafting system is kind of limited in the game. And the devs said that they will most likely add some more craftable items that the community wants. And overall, some items that they think would improve the game. There will also be new ghost blueprints added. In case you don't know what ghost blueprints are, they are those uh, prefab blueprints that you place and they are not yet fully placed. You need to add the logs and the materials uh, to it. And they also said that they will be adding and improving the free farm crafting system. And there is at least one more enemy that will make it to the game because this enemy wasn't finished when the early access first launched. And they said, and I quote, there may be others we add over time, including variations on some of the current enemies. But let's hope for the best and that they add uh, this new creature and also variations of the ones that are exist in the game. Now, the cannibal camps, they look pretty much the same all over the map. And the devs said that they plan on adding different types of structures that they live in to give more variety to the camps. And they also plan to add more ambient action to the cannibals so they feel more alive and they are doing different activities in their camps. Now, if you're looking to have your own dedicated server, don't worry, the devs said that they are working on it. However, there is not yet a fixed date for that. Now, if you're tired of eating berries, cooked fish, or maybe raw fish, maybe some human flesh, I don't know what you're into, but this will eventually change. They said that they will be adding an advanced cooking system to the game. So hopefully there will be some different recipes that you can cook. And yeah, they said that when they have a more fleshed out prototype they will implement into the game so let's hope for the best and the famous log sledge from the forest will most likely be implemented into sons of the forest the devs they admitted that they did not know if it was worth adding the log sledge because of the amount of bugs that there were in the forest but after the early access launch they saw that the community misses it and they really want it in the game so they said that now they realize how much the players want it and yeah, most likely to be implemented to the game. That's it for today. Leave it down in the comments below what you're most excited for the next update or the game in general, what you expect it to look like when it launches. So if you like the video, make sure to smash the like button, yada, 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 and see you in the next one.